So I'd like to tell you a story about easily being distracted. I got a box of tea. I wanted to open the box of tea. I couldn't find my razor blade. So I decided to go looking for my razor blade. Maybe it was in the box of crap. So I looked in the box of crap. And I find, hey look, they're sewing needles. I'd wanted to fix a pair of pants. So then I went to look for the pair of pants. I found the pair of pants, and I decided I didn't want to fix the pair of pants right now. But I was hungry. So I made blueberry pancakes. Only I started making blueberry pancakes, and then decided to make a cake. Because I had to use up all the eggs. Because I'm going on vacation to DEF CON. So, I mix up the cake, and I try to make it in the toaster oven. Because it's a toaster oven and I don't like the real oven. I don't have the size pans that they want because the size pans that they want don't fit in the toaster. So I grab my loaf pan. I put the cake mix in the loaf pan. They're not stick, so I ignore that whole add flour and grease. And I put them in for the minimum amount of time that it says the 10 inch pan belongs in for. And then I realized I haven't had pancakes. So I finished making pancakes. And then I eat the pancakes. While I'm eating pancakes, I decided to go on the internet. Because I really should check my bank balances. And, you know, maybe file away some receipts for the business. I don't do that because I end up on Cracked. And I'm giggling hysterically at the bad resumes. And Friday the 13th, aren't you glad you're not the person in that photo? And then I wandered off to other parts of the internet. And then I realized, hey, I was making a cake. I go back, I find the cake. It's kind of got a Cajun crust going. I removed the crust after viciously removing it from the pan because they really were serious about greasing and flour in the pan. Well, it's delicious and moist once you remove the protective black outer shell. Yay, cake. Now I've decided the kitchen's a mess. I should really be cleaning. And the cleaning reminds me that I have a box of tea that I wanted to open. And, you know, maybe the razor blade's over there near the book. Well, they go over near the book. And the books start to annoy me because they're not in the correct order. Because I haven't gotten around to alphabetizing them all by author and genre yet. So then I start organizing the books. And I find a razor blade. Ha! Huh, surprise! So, I grab the razor blade. And then I realize... I've just dismantled a whole bunch of books. And I put back the books, but I can't find the razor blade. When I find the razor blade, it's under the wampa. Now I've got the razor blade. I start to open the box of tea. And then I realize I should really collapse those other boxes and put them away in the cupboard before the bunny eats them, because they're on the floor and the bunny will eat them. So I start to collapse them. And then I realize, why do I have a doorbell? Oh, because I had lockpicks. Where are my lockpicks? Let me go look in this other box. Hey, there's a whole bunch of packing peanuts. Jump out the packing peanuts, collapse that box. I'll add that to the pile of boxes and collapse them to go out in the cupboard. Needless to say, right now, I have packing peanuts all over the floor. I have burned cake. I have a pile of cooked blueberry pancakes. I have a razor blade. Yay! I have a sewing needle, I have pants that need to be sewn, I have patchy pants that need patches, I have no lockpicks, and my Christmas tree is not decorated yet. Don't ask, I decorate the tree and it stays up all year. It's a dragon and roses tree. Anyway, this is what happens when you're hungry and there's the internet and you're looking 